Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play European Universalis 4. We are playing as Croatia, and this is the first video I've recorded since the first episode went up. And it's annoying because it was literally in the very first episode that someone reminded me, Hey, you remember about war taxes, right? Son of a No! Damn it! I even opened the screen to look at the inflation earlier, and I forgot about the war taxes toggle. Ah, <sighs> at least you can only forget it the one time now. Now that it's a toggle, you just put on, and when it's at war, it costs you military power. Which, actually, military power was a little bit tight in one of the battles, in one of the wars here, because we were looking for... I don't remember what button I was I was looking to hit desperately. Was it to recruit a, a general? Or was it to put down a rebellion? I don't remember what it was. But I feel like there was one bit that we actually were a little bit... Oh, no, it's to get to our military tech. So it would have been that much more worse if we had war taxes. But no, we wanted the war taxes on. So we're going to have that on for now, which is going to be groovy. Money is currently slightly negative, just barely so. We do have a loan, um, one or two. Um, just the one loan. Actually, I'm quite surprised about that, that we managed with just one loan. Um, I've currently got my fort maintenance turned off. We do have the maintenance on our troops on because they have to do some rebel stomping. Hungarian separatists are currently brewing. Um, we can have our fort maintenance turned off because none of the rebels are going to spawn anywhere where we have a fort. So that's going to be okie dokie. Um, I'm going to sit on the idea group stuff for a little while. Rebel uprising. And then we have Silly over here, which is always the way I'm going to call these guys. Um, and they are currently not terribly keen on me, but that should be okay. We're going to try to get ourselves a second vassal at some point, which will complete a mission. Um, and then we'll, we'll see where we go from there in terms of integration. So I think we're going to be quite happy to just sit for a little while. I would feel much happier if we had managed to ally the Ottomans oh so long ago. Currently, I don't believe they've got any claims on me. Well, they do have some desire. So, things might get a little bit uh, less than great over time, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, the ideal at this point becomes more like, let's make sure we keep getting strong allies. We are four four relations, we're currently allied with Lithuania, which is going to be pretty strong, Bohemia, which won't be too bad, and France, which will get progressively stronger over time. Uh, they, they ramp up very, very quickly. Whether or not France could help protect us against the Ottomans right now, eh, I don't know, but hopefully the Ottomans are just going to be busy with other things, if at all possible. Uh, so our diplomats are improving with uh, dangerous nations, and then also with our vassals. So I think we're in good shape to go ahead and uh, unpause over here and see what's what. So again, this is uh, currently we are busting a little bit of uh, corruption because we're overextended right now. Castilian Civil War is ended. Right now, we're actually very happy for some stability in Europe. Actually, Lithuania being smacked around by Muscovy right here is not good for us because they are one of our allies, and it would be best for them to stay good and strong. Um, hopefully, they don't lose too much in this war. Hopefully, this war ends soon so that they can rebuild themselves and be available to help me out against the Ottomans. Okay, military rights and things. Don't care about any of that. And these truces, we... Well... Well, I was going to say, we're happy for the truce with Hungary to last longer, probably, because we don't want them starting on us. But currently, things are apparently fairly stable, so... Um, or, they're fairly small, is what I meant to say, so it's not like they uh, were likely going to be doing anything against us, regardless. Um, yeah, still don't know where we're going to go first with these things. We could even consider a military idea first, but I don't know. And uh, also, we are waiting for the institution to come in. We've got a long way before we're sort of forced to hit the next tech level. We are going to need some money, but also things are spreading. So yeah, right now we're very happy to be in a holding pattern. We're just hoping that the Ottomans don't start some crap with us right now. I don't suspect they've got a CB on us. Um, well, we've been warned not to go to war with any other countries by the Ottomans. Okay. I think that's the second people who would have warned us? No, just the Ottomans over here. Uh, and that's fine, we're not planning on uh, starting a war, but yeah, that is, uh, there we go, they're hostile towards us. This is definitely going to be a problem. Maybe we can make friends with the Mamluks? It would be interesting to consider. Where are they sitting on here right now? Oh, you don't like Lithuania. All right. If we did take a look over at the Diplomacy screen, the Alliance screen, we could get more. I, England's pretty powerful. I don't know... Well, we don't want to ally England if we've got France, so we're not going to do that. Um, maybe pick up something at Brunswick. I know it'll put us over our relationship limit. 
but that doesn't seem like a terrible, terrible idea. So the Hungarians are now up to 90% from 80%, so we'll do that. Let's pop soon, that's going to be fine. Um, and the coring, how's it coming along? Yeah, nearly a bunch of them are about to pop, which is going to help the financial situation for several different reasons, by not being overextended, by not having the corruption. Um, what's my force limit at right now? 16. Well, I don't have the manpower to really increase it. Do I have an estate mission? Improve our prestige, which actually is nearly there. Okay. Um, and loyalty-wise... So if I were to hit this button right now, the clergy would rebel. And the Equilibrium is... They're at Equilibrium. Hmm. Is there anything I want to put over here to get more? I don't want anything that costs us land. I mean, I could run this one, actually. Oh, no, I can't, apparently. Because I don't have a Cardinal. Ah, alright. Um, oh, we could run this guy again. To help with our conversions. That might be what happens, then I can hit the button. Um, I'm... You know what? I'll hit the button now, because I can pull the estate right away. Well, not right away, because we have to wait. The equilibrium point is now above 50%, but it'll at least grow now. And then that will help us with the conversions, although we can't do it while the, uh, the corn process is going on. It will also cost us money to run those, but hopefully that'll be okay. Once the Hungarian Separatists go, we'll feel a lot better about maybe bringing down... Oh, so you were loyal. Why did you stop being loyal? Um, I mean, the opinion will improve. I did do the place relative on throne, which is going to help us in the long run to keep these guys really, really stable. Core, 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 core. How are we looking here? Poor uniforms. Damn it. So 50 months of this. I do want to convert you, but we may have to wait a tiny scooch before we uh, before we do that. Oh, I can make Bosnia State. Yes, I should absolutely do this. I've got the points to finish everything. So we're going to state you. And super core. That. Okay. That's going to be fine. ultimately will help our finances and things as well. Um... Oh. oh, this just took another downtick. Why did this suddenly become all of a sudden much better? I was just looking at these tooltips, 50 months and 0.37. But okay, then I'll be quite happy to start the process now. Excellent. Go, go, go. Rebel Uprising, 90. This will also increase these uh, rebellion numbers because the unrest increases while you're doing active conversion. But that's okay. Like, we're ready for the the rebellion. In fact, like, the sooner they do it, the sooner both of them do it, the sooner we can reduce maintenance over here. It would be nice to do some drilling, of course, but right now we need some cash. Um, half price skill 2, that's too expensive. So, yeah, Belgrade, local defensiveness, plus 25% for the end of the game is going to be beautiful. So let's 100% do that. And you are no longer disloyal, which is nice. I mean, you know, you're still on the, the cusp of disloyalty, but it'll only get better over time. Veneration of Virgin Mary. We want anything that increases reform desire, so we'll do that. I don't know if there's anything I can spend my papal influence on right now. No. Is there influence here? Yeah, so we're a while away from hitting any of those buttons. All right, let's bring the speed up to four. I mean, you shouldn't even need to babysit them. Competent cousin, gain legitimacy. Um, well, that's... I didn't see it in Tooltip. Maybe if I'd read it, because it also gave us prestige. I was about to say, having high legitimacy increases our prestige, doesn't it? Maybe not. We've got court protection, da-da-da, uncontested cores. But there we go. Boom. You gain some loyalty. Excellent. So yeah, we're still waiting for the clergy, but I can do... Oh, this will work, because I think this immediately gives them loyalty. Perfect. Um, you just want the church building in Belgrade, which is also going to give us one base tax. And again, 
over the course of the game, like trade and production just dramatically takes over your economy. Um, but early on, these tax boosts are quite nice. I don't want to build a castle. Um, oh, naval force limit 75% in an admiral. No, I'll do this because it will give us a free tax base, which is going to be kind of nice. But also, I can seize land. Everyone's above 50%, so there's going to be no rebellion. Boom. Perfect. Because we want to make sure that our land percentage stays relatively decent. And that's going to be that's going to be helpful for us in the long run. So it was over here in Belgrade. Okay, well, we'll have to wait for some money. But that's going to be fine. Uh, well advised. Possible advisor plus one. Okay. Oh, high liberty desire again. If we build some more troops, that would help shift the balance. Um, the other thing that'll help, what's their uh, Diplotech level? Seven versus my six, so that's another modifier over there. But yeah, they'll, they'll just be fine. There you go. They're, they're back on the fine side again. I mean, their, um, their opinion of us is going to be pretty good. Um, improve relations plus 100. I was going to say, that's not the cap. That was just a coincidence that we saw that. With their Vassal, it's plus 200. So that keeps going up. The aggressive expansion force Vassalize keeps going down. Culture conversion. Oh, I forgot I was doing a little bit of that. I could do even more. I, I, we were waiting on tech anyway. I think that was probably going to be the idea here. Um, this. Why don't we actually open the pods? Okay. Um, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. It's probably People are probably screaming about me that when that happened. Did I? Because they changed the screen at some point. This is change culture to Croatia. To Hung oh. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about the confusion for that. But hey, we caught it in time. Sorry. Sorry about that. We we got our points back. I misinterpreted. I thought that was filtering. Um, I thought it was always. I didn't realize you could change the culture to anything but your primary culture. So with this this interface, I thought this was just selecting the con the province. You know, which culture do we want to get rid of, basically? So I can't convert anyone to Croatian right now. And why is that? What? So so I'm. You can see why I'm confused. Shouldn't I be able to convert the Hungarians to Croatians? But I can't convert anyone to Croatian. Like, I can sort of understand why maybe Bosnian, because it's in the same group. Why can't I convert these Hungarians? As far as I know, I stated everything. Yeah, why can't I convert Bax? What has separatism? Okay. See, so that, that starts to explain a lot. But you can see why I got confused there, right? Because it felt like I should be able to convert them. But yeah, okay, I can't do any of it until the the convert the, uh, the separatism goes away. Well, I'm happy we caught that before it went. Again, if people were probably... I, that was a video, maybe two videos ago. Probably last video, I'm not sure. Um, which hasn't gone live yet, so... Uh, I'm sure the comments are going to be nasty. I'll have to remember to put a little pin in there. I'll probably get 30 different uh, Twitter comments as well, which is good! Especially, like, YouTube comments are pointless. No one reads those. People only yell into YouTube comments. No one actually reads YouTube comments. Um, but things like Twitter and stuff is a good way to get attention. Or Discord. <laughs> Alright. You are slowly chilling there, Chili. Yeah, better, better uh, technology. And then, yeah, the place relative on the throne. But that's going to be good for us in the long run. Because it'll help our relations overall. Anyway, they're going to be stable. They were so tiny that it was never really going to be a problem. I knew they were going to be cranky for a bit, especially with the place relative. But ultimately, we were going to be okay. Now, this guy's not great, but I don't want to disinherit. He is really ungood. Hopefully, he'll die. Um, so, money's going up, despite the fact that we are doing a religious conversion, which is great. Those rebels still haven't popped. It actually shrunk for a second there as I was bouncing over. They were at 7k instead of 8k. Uh, the Bosnian Separatists have gotten a little bit embiggened over here at 9k, I think. 
and they are growing quickly. I suspect it's a Bosnian province where I'm doing my religious conversion. Yes, that's indeed the case. Why? You are covering that area. Yep, good. That'll be hill, so we will get a penalty. Who are my, my own? I'm rivaling Hungary, Venice, Herzegovina, which actually will be very good for us to go and boop later on. But I'm still, I'm not going to do anything politically. I've got claims, permanent claims over here. Um, Poland, Wallachia. Oh, that's a little bit scary. Come on, Rebel Uprising. Oh, this percentage went down. They were up to 60. And it's not like this place doesn't still have unrest. So why would the percentage go down? Like, the rate at which it goes up would have changed, but the percentage? Maybe I was wrong about it being 60? No, I don't think so. Interesting. All right. Uh, oh, not this. I want to take a look at our uh, institutions. Slowly coming in here. And then, yeah, there'll be a big tech catch-up, which I'm pretty confident about. Marriage? Hey, there we go. They like me enough to get married. We already have a relationship with a lot with them, so of course we'll do that. Encroachment of nobility in Bosna. So they can get some local autonomy and the nobility gains land. Or 50-50 chance we could get some rebellion right away. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and stand in here and I'm going to hit this button. I mean, 1% land's not a big deal. Fascinating. Liege. Okay, good for you. And the loyalty will bounce back. Now we did the rebellion, which is going to hurt our relatively weak manpower a little bit. We do have a free advisor slot over here. Hold on. Um. Oh, so we don't have our... Um, we had a conversion specialist over here. Yeah, that's going to hurt us a lot. Mmm. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Well, I think right now I'll take Carl over here for the taxes. Oops, wrong button. Um, because he'll semi-pay for himself while still giving me power points. Boom, boom. We still need to cover that area. Okay. Hopefully you bounce back completely before the rebellion shows up. It should be. Back up to full strength. Oh. Wow, the uh, Hungarians have gone away completely. Or they're not growing because of our rebel busting right now. Well, that's good to know. Because what will happen is they won't keep spamming the separatism from the rebellion, which means we'll be able to culture convert them. Now that I know the right way to do this. Uh, okay, you've embraced Renaissance. Mamluks are golden aging now. Wallachia hates me as well. Innovativeness is decreasing. That's going to have to be fine. I can't afford an idea group right now. Like, I've got enough I can start working towards a diplomatic idea or a military idea. Um, I don't think we're going to go with a diplomatic idea right now. I suspect we'll be grabbing trade ideas for sure. And then maybe diplomatic and or influence, maybe espionage. Um, not exploration, probably not maritime. I don't know. Maybe? We'll see. But it's a little less tempting right now. Um... We don't want to find, fall behind on military tech. I think I'm not going to pick up an idea yet. The hope is still we're going to try to max out our monarch power, and hopefully that'll time out nicely for when we can get an institution. Although it's getting more expensive because of the cores, that's true. But it's also spreading in a lot of these places, so I don't know. Maybe we'll have to grab an idea. If a war starts, I will immediately grab some sort of military idea. I like quality because it's got some great events with it. Um, but they're all, they're all really good, a lot. Um, I guess one of the things we can consider is maybe what kind of policies we end up wanting to run. Oh, Belgrade gets support for Renaissance. It's going to get more unrest, but it is going to give us the institution spread. Um, you know, speaking of, we haven't really... I think maybe I should run at this point. I wasn't running it for a while because I thought it was going to happen quickly enough, but we're going to run the advancement policy everywhere. Because I was like, I, I, I thought we were going to be fine without this, and I was going to save a few bucks. I don't even know if it can spread over there. Okay. 
Yeah, we'll go ahead and accelerate those. I'll have to remember to pull it out later, but that's going to be okay. Bohemia declares war on Nitra. All right. It would be great to get Austria, but they hate France and Bohemia, so that's not going to work out for us. They would royal marry me, which is interesting. But yeah. Dun, 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 dun. So I think our next ta target's definitely going to be over here. Um, hopefully. Actually. Wow. Okay. Poland did some interesting things over here. Because these guys are allied to Poland, right? Yeah, and Wallachia. Um, which is pretty huge as well. So Hungary is basically ne nearly not existing. It's here and over here. It's nearly done. Okay, there's the rebellion, which we're going to fight off. And that was the last rebellion that was threatening. So what I can do at this point is lower our maintenance. That. And that'll make it a little easier to build our temple, complete our quest. Still going to be a little while before we get there. So yeah, this video is going to be kind of chill, but fine. Mm -hmm. Do, 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 do. That's still over here. I mean, these guys should be kind of really pleased with me. Yeah. And that uh, place relative on the throne thing is going away more and more and more. Um, nobility. Okay, we would have 20 years of reduced taxes if they gain loyalty. Who's a stability? Ah, hmm. Hmm. Can we figure out what the base base value is here? I guess we'd add up all these numbers, and then we'd be losing 10% of that. Or, okay, is the 5.84, does it take into account the 30%? I think so. So we do the invert. We really wouldn't be losing much from this. It's just the stability cost is kind of annoying. Either way, the loyalty doesn't bother me much, because it'll still equal out somewhere. You know what? God damn. That's actually really annoying. I'm seeing big big weighted decisions on both sides. Um, right now, reboosting our stability would be quite, ex well, would be a little bit more expensive because of our religious unity problems. I think I'll go here. So, 584. We'll recalculate. Okay. Yeah, so it's not much of a difference, but at the same time, every little bit's pretty meaningful right now. Uh, there's probably, as per usual, someone in the chat saying, oh, you should pay back your loan right away to save interest. It literally doesn't make a difference when you pay it. You pay it early, you still pay the entirety of the interest owed on the loan. So the only thing paying it off early does is maybe make it so that you don't forget to pay it off while you've got money, because the last thing we want to do is renew it. Um, which is true. So, next, and when I do have enough cash to repay it, I may want to do that just to avoid the renewal, which would increase... Oh! That's the other thing I've been waiting on forever. At the start of the video, I didn't have enough um, enough admin points, but I have had for a while. I absolutely want to reduce inflation. That I should have done ages ago. So that was a big derp. So that's going to help our finances as well. Uh, okay, so Diplomat is free because we recalled you over here. Um... Hmm. Now you're not going to like me at all because you've rivaled me. Yep. Who hates you? Hungary, Serbia, Croatia. Yeah, okay, well that's not helpful at all. Who hates Poland? Denmark. Maybe we can get Denmark on our side? They still like me currently. Yeah, you'd have too many relations, but maybe long term? I think it'll make sense to improve relations with Denmark. They may turn out to be a good long-term partner for us. So potentially repay the loan. The other thing is, I still have the mission to go and build a temple over here, which would be nice. Hoping the Ottomans don't declare war on me. Hopefully they keep busy somewhere else. Um, we could boost our tech, and that'll be another nice thing if the war suddenly breaks out, but I am hoping to wait over here. 
Independent Cossack Coast. Okay, so I'm available. You are spreading, so I mean, that's something. It'd be nice if someone offered to uh, share, um, share their tech with us. Serbia. All right, everyone's rivaling me. I'm hoping the Ottomans decide to finish this area off first before they come to me. Because we need as much time as we can. So we can store almost 1,300 power. It'll be over 1,300 by the time it gets to 1,300. So we've still got a time buffer over here. I don't think I'm going to want to do something like take out loans to boost our... Uh, to take the, um, the institution. But you never know. I can repay the loan now. Let me sit on it for now. So we can make some... We can give it some thought. What does this do? 82. No, we're gonna have to repay this. It's going to um, it's gonna come due like after we build um, the temple, and I don't want to renew it. So I'll repay it now before I spend other things. And yeah, you can see we're still paying the interest. So boom, boom, boom. Still paying the extra buck and a half. Buck and three quarters, I guess. Lithuania loves me. And, okay, they're out of their war. They don't appear to have lost too much territory. Fingers crossed over there. They don't have much of a military. Well, no, actually, they're not bad. They're doing some drilling, which I could do, although that would cost us cash, which we're a little bit low on. I don't know. Maybe I should be drilling this whole time. It's, I find it hard to justify early on because it is expensive, but it does make your troops a lot better. The thing is, if we end up fighting the Ottomans, it's not going to matter how well drilled their troops are. I don't know. Maybe? No. It, we lose too much money when our army maintenance is up. We've got stuff to do with our cash. Even, you know, even with tax revenue being fairly low, it's still not a bad idea to get those churches up. And we've got the mission this time. Ah, uh, wait, the entire country? It's not just salt. It's our entire country gets reduced production. Ugh. I could save money by not doing... The religious conversion, but the unity boost is really helpful. That is pretty pricey. Maybe I'll hold off for a sec, because maybe we'll find ourselves another um, another conversion boost. Uh, spare no expense is still fine. Certainly. What I might want to do before I build the um, the church here, I might want to go and boost, because if it's going to have a church, it's going to benefit from higher base tax. Right from doing the admin boost over here. Um, and it's going to get plus one from finishing the mission. So we could boost this to the point where like we couldn't necessarily boost it more because of unbalance. Although that's going to be pretty high. I don't know if we're going to boost Belgrade that much. Especially being on the uh, border here with the Ottomans. It might be a little bit scary to do that. Um, I guess one thing I could do is I could lower some autonomy. Because we could deal with the unrest... Yeah, you've recently gone and popped. Let's do those and that. I mean, eventually the um, the huge penalty to unrest is going to go away. Okay, that's not the first time that Venice has been excommunicated. And again, if someone declares war in Venice, we may want to as well. Because they've got some of our land. I'm sorry, you're allied to the Ottomans? No. What? Oh, no, because the Ottomans are have warned me not to go to war. At some point, that's going to get annoying. Right now, it's not a big deal. Um, okay, lose money, lose admin, national unrest. I'm going to take the legitimacy boost. It's going to be fine here. Because the unrest ne decreasement doesn't really do much for us right now. So I'm still running the policy over here to give us the missionary strength. And it will go away whenever we um, whenever we finish converting people, which is fine. What's your uh, loyalty balance? 48. Can I do a little bit more to boost you over? Ideally, something that doesn't cost us crown land. Well, this would save us money. <laughs> 
Ability cost modifier sort of sucks, but isn't a huge deal breaker. Um, indebted to the burgers. Right, this gives us a bunch of really cheap loans. Because 1% interest is really low. And the question is, can we can we get more value out of this? Well, maybe. I think I don't mind this necessarily. that is that'll put your balance point above 50 percent yeah and the clergy is above 50 so once these guys are go there we can yoink some more land so we'll recall the diplomat with denmark Did the cost go down i can't remember all right let's go for it we've got enough income right now i feel like we've got a decent buffer it's still gonna grow okay that's running. We don't have to lower interest. I have to remember to keep an eye on those buttons. Serbia's embraced the Renaissance. Which, I mean, I think might... You know, that means all their provinces will have it, so it might spread a little faster for us. Interesting. I didn't right-click that. But I was mousing over it when I hit Escape. I don't know why the technology notifier went away. I did not right-click. Okay, so it's fully embraced over here, so really, I could cancel that edict in this state, because it's fully spread there. Okay. I mean, at some point, it'll basically fully thread through our entire nation, and we'll just get it for free. We'll probably want to spend before that. Okay, Truce Vasily is over. If they were disloyal... They could um, get people to potentially support... Poland's no longer a great power. Um, we could get them to support... Uh, oh, they're claiming... Are they thinking about doing a war? So they could get them to support independence. Sorry, I'll finally finish that sentence uh, over here. But they are completely loyal. They're going to be cool now. So everything's going to be fine. There we go, 50%. That happened quickly. So we can seize some more land. Bam. Excellent. want to make sure everything stays nice and stable for us. And then we can run more policies that give them land as well. We don't want to go fight low 30% right now. Um, so yeah, we've still been warned by the Ottomans. I wonder if I can just start doing some espionage there, and maybe there's some stuff I can do in that. Situation. I mean, we don't have that many techs, and so not, not that many things have been opened up. Maybe long term this is going to be a good one for, um... Did he already rival me? Oh! There's things I can do with my rivalries. Hang on. Um, I can... I don't need pick wind floats, really. And this, it'll put them below 30, but it won't actually rebellion them over here. I can... Embargo you? Insult you? Can I not embargo? Oh, we have a truce. Send you an insult. Scornful insult. I think I can have a scornful and a regular one. Cost prestige, but that's okay. Um, we also rival Venice. So we'll send you a regular insult. And then more insults don't matter. But then what I have to do is go around embargoing everyone. So I can't do hungry. But I can do these guys. I forgot about that aspect. More greedy, less taxes. We've taken a, a fair amount of hits to our taxation. We actually are making a full gold less from our taxes than we were before. Um, and that's definitely adding up. Okay. I don't want to hit the reduce inflation button until it gets close to two. Ideally at two. Just because I don't want to overspend on admin if we don't have to. Do, 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 do. So yeah, that is going to make it harder to embrace, annoyingly. Especially while running this. Rebellion's currently brewing again, so what I should probably do, and that's going to make our money situation harder once more, is I'm going to do this. And do some rebel busting. We're also nearly at our manpower cap. So, first of all, we'll make sure this gets reinforced, although it's nearly there. I think we might build the troops up here. Maybe just 
dissuade people from starting some crap with us. And we don't want to sit at the nine power cap, because then we're wasting our, um, our reinforcement. But I don't have to do that quite yet. So yeah, we're basically just breaking even now for money. Maybe we do take out the Mountain of Cheap Loans. I think we will, actually. So with the burgers, we can do that. We can build the temple, but we can also go and accept the institution. So... We probably want this, like, to spread a little bit more, if at all possible. Hopefully we get another province or two to give us the discount. Before we... Um, max out the military power situation. I'm not going to change the... Um, there's another state that now could get to take advantage of the increased advancement rate, but I don't think it's going to make a difference in when anything happens. Now, what I could consider here is letting these guys pop just so that I can beat them up right away. And then I could go and bring this down. So I could actually cancel the rebel suppression. I think they're going to come up pretty quickly anyway. So I will wait... Again, I could always grab an idea group if I was worried about going over, which most likely would be military first. Um, there are some buttons I could hit for... I mean, I could strengthen government, but not really. We're fine there. Ottomans embrace renaissance. Um, the other thing I could do with um, the diplo power is I could promote mercantilism, which is not really a good use of this. We could also just develop some provinces, which might not be the worst idea. At all. Especially the ones that already have a renaissance around. I could run the policy over here and develop Zagreb. Which, our capital, which, you know, could maybe use some extra loving. It's slightly cheaper to do it in the capital as well, if I recall correctly. Crown land. Capital city, yeah. Producing cloth as well. Oh, interesting. So yeah, there's a fair amount of discounts over here. Very least, bring it to 10, we'll unlock, you know, another building slot, which long-term will be pretty good. I kind of don't mind the idea of doing that. And if I'm going to do this, I should do this as soon as possible. The other thing I could do is I could spend it somewhere to help spread the Renaissance. But no, I think we're going to be okay doing this. Um, cloth is actually pretty good here. We don't need to do the admin as much. So I can't do anything more here. So, I mean, we're at 10. Oh, I didn't run the discounted policy. I mean, I only hit the button three times. Do I want to go, um, do I want to go crazy on the devil push over here? I don't know, we'll see. But I think I kind of like the idea. You know what? I do like the idea. So we're gonna go encourage development for more of a discount, which I should have done sooner. How far do I want to go here? Bring it to 20. We'll call that good enough. So we've given ourselves more of a buffer. I spent a few of the points just to try to keep them a little closer to even. Um, there's a rebellion. Oh, okay, and Lithuania is calling me into a war against Muscovy. I'm going to have to say yes. Because I don't want to break that promise. How soon we send troops in? Well, I think we'll have to send them in pretty much right away, yeah. That is a little tighter than expected. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and reinforce us by one notch. And then I will go and try to help Lithuania. A gift from Kazan. Oh, they must hate Muscovy. Thank you for the extra manpower. Now, before we jump in, I think I want this tech level. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the estates, we're going to go to the burgers, we're going to cheap take out, uh, well, actually, not what I meant, but, no, I'm going to go this one.
you go, giving us tons of money at a fairly cheap rate. So I'm going to embrace this to get rid of the technology cost so we can get tech level uh, six military for the military tactics, which is going to be really good. Um, and yeah, we'll grab these techs as well, rather than go with ideas. Workshops, farm estates, ramparts, that's good. And a policy, which gives us more missionary strength and a national tax modifier. So yes, that will help do that. And over here, oh, it's the, um, the knights, which we're not currently using, but we could consider throwing a couple of knights in here for a strength boost. Boom. Okay, so you still have to reinforce from that battle. We have a rebel faction, but it's not really building up too much. So you've already lost a battle. You might just be toast. I might not be able to save you from anything. Did we just, um... Oops. I think we just eclipsed a bunch of people. Eclipse hungry. Eclipse. Herzegovina. Nice. We still don't have a ton of power projection. Um, yeah, I might just let you die over here. What's the war for? Border war. So I'm assuming, yeah, they take borders. They want to take a bunch of land from the... I mean, I want Lithuania to be strong to fight against the Ottomans, but... Uh, we're gonna increase the liberty desire of Catholicism. What's um, Muscovy's military tech? They are in a 7. Now, 7 gives them... It's a pretty good one because it's more military tactics. The cannons as well, and but the cannons don't matter. But the military tactics, the fire and shock boost. Oh, that's all artillery, so no. Okay, well, you've got a fair number of friends over here in the north. Can I reach over there? No, not the forts, huh? I'm going to move here just in case there's a crap ton of reinforcements, although it looks like there aren't. Now they're probably going to move yet once that siege goes, or maybe before. National Epic for Prestige? Um, yeah, okay, let's do that. State-wise, nothing for us to do over here. Oh, right, the House of Worship over here. Um, and I am going to go ahead... Encourage development. I have to remember to pull this away. I'm going to spend a bunch over here. Build the church, which will then complete and bring it up to eight. Oh, I guess it takes time to do it, right. But then it'll complete and do that. Um, I hope the reinforcements are coming in. Yeah, there we go. War score. Uh, we're getting our butts kicked over here. Maybe? Maybe? I mean, we're counting as the defender over here. Ah, uh, lost. That's a shame. That's a shame. Sorry, bros. I tried. What's the total number of troops on both sides? Ooh, it's very even. It's gonna cost us all of our manpower. What I'll do is just try to hang out near them. Because, yeah, I want Lithuania to have an okay time here. Are you, are you, you might be looking to engage something. I can just lock to you, but then attrition's going to be kind of brutal. Luckily, it's past winter now. I can boop that cannon for free. 10 to 1 ratio. It's to stack wipe. Pull back to friendly territory. Austria declares war in Hungary. Restoration of Union. Yeah. France declares war in Burgundy. They're not calling me in, though. Uh, sorry, I just realized I had stuff running in the background that I could close. Also, I guess it's high time to put a cut in this episode, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. Folks, thanks a lot for watching another episode. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Okay.